applying ID maps and vertex color is the first most important step before bringing your mesh into Substance Painter. So in lesson three, we'll see how we can do the ID maps and how we can apply the vertex color. I don't know. A few moments later. So let's start with lesson three. And in the lesson three, we will talk about material IDs and vertex color. Now, why do we need material IDs and why do we need vertex color? These are basically methods that Substance Pencil uses to efficiently create substances uh, and textures, materials for your objects. Okay, so in order to work more precisely, more accurately, it is highly recommended that you should have map ID maps. And for the ID maps, you have to create vertex color. Okay, so let's go to Substance Painter and see how they look like. Then we will come back to Maya to see how we can do that. Now, this is my model here in Substance Painter. And I have turned on the ID over here so that I can see the ID maps. Okay. Now in the texture list, I have three parts. This model is divided into three parts. This is parts. Okay. And these are IDs. Each part has its own ID. Okay. So each part have its own IDs. And for example, if I will hide these two, so head have three IDs. Okay. Uh, red yellow and green let me go back to my material i can press m on my keyboard to go back okay uh, so it will be quite faster to do that now how it uh, helps you in terms of texturing anything or painting any object now suppose i have these uh, like materials or let's talk about the smart materials okay so if you will take any one of these Okay, suppose I will take this one. Okay, this is plastic uh, grainy soft and press control on my keyboard and drag on my uh, window here. So you can see that I can uh, separately put on any ID. Like suppose I can put it over here and then it will be applied only at that part. And if I'm not pressing control on my keyboard, so it will work by default, which will bypass the id uh, process so it will just apply on the whole surface but if you want to use ids you have to press control and then it will show you ids select the id you want to drop the material on or you to paint the material on and you will be uh, good to go okay so this is how the id will help you inside the substance paint so as you can see that here I have red ID here and red ID here. If this was a same part and if I have applied a material on this ID, so the same material would be applied on this ID. But as they are different parts, it will not work in that way. So uh, that is one uh, of the advantages of channel IDs, uh, map IDs is that if they are in one part, so if one channel ID is red, and other one is also red. So if you will apply on one red, the other red will get the same material at the same time. So you don't have to keep on applying on separate, separate IDs. So that is one good thing about the map IDs. Now let's see in Maya how to create them. So this is my model. Okay. It already have the IDs over here. Now let me do one thing. Let me start over so you can see that. Uh, I have applied on these areas so you can see that. Uh, all the metals have you can see a greenish sort of uh, IDs okay like this part front part of the like the of these uh, like like rotators they have uh, like green IDs okay because they are metals all the metals have green IDs okay and all the other materials like this one this one okay and on the bottom one have same IDs which is uh, like a different color than the green so that means if I will apply any metal on the light green color channel ID, so all these light green ones will have the same 
metal. So I have to only apply on one and all of them will be automatically applied. If I will apply a plastic on this one, so the plastic will apply it on these wherever, whatever these colors are. So this is how it will work. Now how to make these IDs, let's see. So I have this model in front of me. So as you can see, that is triangulated. So uh, I need to do one thing here. I have to go to the mesh and then I have to go to the uh, like quadriculate. And then after that, let me bring the window here. I will check the, all this except for the key part edges. Uh, every other thing is fine. I will apply and then it will become triangulated. Now here what I can do is that I can right click over here, go to my faces. And I have now ability to select each one of these faces separately. So suppose if I want to create separate object because you can see that it is only one object. So what I need to do is that suppose I want two objects. I want front separately and I want back separately. So what I will do here is that uh, for example, I will select this whole thing and from the front. Okay, so the whole is selected. Now I will go in my material shader here and then I will make a Lambert material. And I can give any sort of color to it. Okay, and then other one I will make another one. Okay, and I will give a different color to it. Okay. This one I can type here back. This one I can type here front. And then the one which I have selected here. Okay, let me select to make sure everything is signed. Now this is selected, so I will go here. And then the front one I will assign to the front side. Okay, and then the other one I will go here and assign to the other side. Now, minimize this one, go back to object mode. So, right now, what I have created is basically a material ID. What does the material ID will do? This is front, this is back. So, if I will import that into like this into Substance Painter, okay, so it will create two different kind of uh you can say uh material uh, like a like a parts like a layers okay so that's how the material id work but let's see how to make uh, like a map id like a vertex color so again i have to go here suppose i need a different vertex color for the front screen so i will uh, click over here okay and then i will grow my selection so now the selection is uh, grown so I will go here in my mesh display, apply color option. And here I will choose any color that I want. Maybe I want this to be red, okay, and apply. So a red color will be applied to it, okay. Now one more thing I can do here is that I can select any other part, basically. For example, I want to select this part. or maybe let's select from here okay and then i will grow the selection here a little bit and this one i can choose blue color and apply okay so this will become blue so here i have blue and red now let's go to the back side so maybe what i can do here is that i can take this one and apply here uh, basically the same blue color Okay, and maybe on the top, what I can do here is that I can take this one, grow the selection a little bit. Okay, and here I can apply uh, maybe this purple color. Now I will close it, go back to object. So, this is how I can apply vertex color. And these will become my map IDs inside the Substance Painter. Simple one thing I have to do, I have to go here. I have to go to the export selection. Okay. And then I can make a, a file here. Maybe temp TV. So you all know what we are talking about here, what we are using. So, okay. Sorry. I have to select. And then 
export all. I was supposed to select export. I have to. I was supposed to click on export all, but I did export selection and nothing was submitted. That's why I got this error. So, but now I think it's fine. And then export all, and it's been exported. So after that, your object will be ready for Substance Painter. You can easily import that inside the three, uh, your Substance Painter, and you can uh, drop the materials or you can work on these map IDs separately. So this is how it works. And in the next class, we will learn in detail how to import your objects and create a new file and bake the textures inside Substance Painter. So guys, uh, we'll meet in the next class. So take care. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you have not subscribed to it yet. And please don't forget to click on the bell icon because a lot of things are coming up. Some live session videos will are, are coming up as well. And please watch my videos till the end. Do not download. Watch it online. And take care so we can meet in the next class. Thank you guys. Thank you.